Hey friends, before we get started with today's show, I have to say my heart and prayers for sure are with our communities, good girlfriends and their families across the western parts of North Carolina and Florida and other areas that got hit hard due to Hurricane Helene. This podcast supports you. While this is a hurtful time for many, it's also a time to be on high alert, especially to those that are still donating to the cause. Make sure the organization you're donating to is really set up to help and give aid to the people affected because most people and organizations use tragedy such as these to exploit and draw on people's sympathy just make sure you read and research however our many prayers are still with everyone affected including the countless others that have lost whole families children pets and friends in the aftermath may God continue to give you strength comfort and peace as you move forward It's a show, go to place for guidance Step inside, see how good the vibe is It's a girl talk and you're all invited Cause every girl needs a girlfriend Welcome to the Girlfriends Girlfriend Podcast. I'm Rashonda, your host and good girlfriend, here to give it to you straight. If you need a boost or a quick pick-me-up, this show's got you with wisdom, warmth, and a bit of humor. We'll talk about all sorts of relationships, including the ones with ourselves, friends, and life's ups and downs. Think of it as your monthly girl time. Quick note and disclaimer, I'm not a licensed therapist nor a counselor, just a coach offering support with a fresh perspective. Now, let's chat, girlfriend. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Welcome to our first monthly outing and the first official show of the Girlfriend's Girlfriend podcast. It's official. We're here. <laughs> Yay! You hear all those cheers? You hear that? <laughs> everybody's happy okay i'm happy too okay and i hope you are thanks for joining us on this journey called life happens <laughs> life happens right and it really does but together we'll get through it one step at a time listen welcome 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 to the show welcome to the community girlfriend come in make yourself comfy cozy i hope you got your favorite drink or beverage i hope you got you a little snack okay (laughs) because i need you to get ready for this oh and you might need a notebook and a pen as well okay yes it's that type of show like you know i'm not just putting it out i'm gonna give you some tips okay something that can help you kind of move on all right listen we're doing a three month series entitled girl get your life girl get your life okay tell somebody you know how they do in church you know tap your neighbor on the shoulder (laughs) tell somebody girl get your life this series is all about getting your life snatched all right in three key areas your mind your body, and the circles you keep. Yes. Today, we're diving into the first and most important area, and that's your mind. (laughs) Because let's be real, everything starts there. If you don't get your mind right, okay, nothing else will fall into place. So, I hope you got all your snacks. I hope you good. I hope you're comfy (laughs) because I need you to grab a notebook, all right, and let's get this session started by working on that mindset. It's story time. Listen, girl, you know, our mind is the foundation of how we move through the world. And it shapes how we see ourselves, how we interact with others, and even how we experience success or setbacks. Now, I don't know about you because this is just me. You remember that song? Some of y'all may not remember it, but you remember that song back in the day? It was a rap song. It was by the Ghetto Boys. And it was like, your mind playing tricks on you. My mind's playing tricks on me. (laughs) 
You remember that? The ghetto boys? Okay. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> but they did now. Like, quick disclaimer. I wouldn't suggest you to go and listen to it because it's... It's not healthy for your ears. <laughs> but listen, the reality is that much of what we believe about ourselves stems from childhood experiences. Now, we may not even be aware of how much those early years shape our present day lives. But the truth is, suppressed childhood pain often shows up in our self-talk. So it shows up in how um, you talk to yourself when you see yourself in the mirror. I remember there was like a many days where I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror because I always seen something wrong, you know, um, and those thoughts of what I seen in the mirror, it did stem from childhood of what I was told. You're too dark. You know, you're not light enough. You know, your hair is not long enough. Well, you don't look like this. Well, you got a big nose, you know, and and all these other types of, of things that, you know, people say, you know, when you're a child and you're growing up and those those things that said it's locked away in your mind. So when you look at yourself in the mirror, you really can't see the beautiful person that you are, because what comes creeping back up to the forefront is those little those little sayings that people were saying to you as a child and it's keeping you from seeing yourself the way God really wants to see you know for you to see yourself so this is the thing so it shows up in our self talk it shows up in our relationships you know when we get into relationships with others whether that's an intimate relationship or whether that's a friendship you tend to sabotage things, you know, because of our nasty mindset. Maybe the friendship that you had before, it didn't work out. It didn't go well, you know, and maybe some things were said, you know, but the thing is you get into another friendship and it's like you kind of closed off, you know, and you're, you're, you got a shield up. You really won't let yourself um, have fun in the friendship. You really won't let your hair down. You know, this person has your best interest at heart, but you can't see it because of things said, emotions, you know, all over the place in the last friendship. So even how we practice self-care. So when it comes down to self-care, you know, negative self-talk, you know, our mindset even goes all the way down. So what am I saying? The mind has a way of suppressing everything that we got going on as we move forward, you know, in life, into relationships, even on jobs, our careers. So how do we begin to transform our mindset and take control of our lives? So I want to break this down because I got some tips for you. And this is where that pad Okay, that pen and pad comes in at, yes, we getting down to the nitty gritty, okay? So we're gonna talk about some tips that we can use to move forward into girl, getting our life together, getting our mind together and taking back control of our mind because your mind don't control you, okay? You can control it. And we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Okay, tip number one, acknowledge your past. You know how sometimes we want to suppress things? We want to suppress everything. We want to put everything under a rug. We don't want to think about it. And we feel like if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Then I don't have to deal with it. But what you're going to end up doing is tripping up over that rug, okay? You're going to look behind you, girl. You're going to be trying to go somewhere and you're going to fall down and you're going to fall right on your face. Why? Because everything that we don't want to deal with was pushed right up under that rug. And it all starts with acknowledging our past. So the first step to changing your mindset is recognizing where it all started. 
So often we carry old beliefs about ourselves that we've been holding on to since childhood, okay? Beliefs that tell us we aren't good enough, that we need to earn love, all right? Or that success isn't meant for us. Girlfriend, those are lies. And I'll take it a step further than that. Those are lies from the pits of hell, okay? Acknowledge them. It's okay. Acknowledge where it come from. Okay, that came from my childhood. My mama used to call me a black sheep, okay? And she didn't mean, to, she didn't mean no nothing good when she said it. She called me a black sheep. Now I can't even look at myself in the mirror because that's all I see. Is mama calling me that black sheep? Why do you feel like you, you know, you're worth nothing? Why do you feel like you burnt and crusty or you don't look good because of what mama said? So we have to acknowledge where that came from. All right. You didn't come out the womb saying it. Someone said it to you. Okay. Acknowledge them for what they are and where they came from. Okay, take some time to think about the messages you received growing up and how they've impacted your current mindset. All right. Tip number two, identify the patterns. Once you've acknowledged your past, it's important to recognize the patterns that those beliefs have created in your life. Do you constantly doubt yourself? Do you find yourself in unhealthy relationships? These patterns aren't just random. They're deeply connected to those core beliefs you've been holding on to. And until you deal with those thoughts, the patterns will continue to repeat themselves. So there's a pattern to everything. You know, I used to hear people say, oh, I'm just like this. Oh, I I was born this way. The devil is a lie. You was not born that way. (laughs) Okay. None of us was born that way. Things are learned. Okay, and then you decide if you want to keep those things or not. Okay, if you want to keep that attitude, if you want to be that way, well, my mama was like this, and my daddy was like this, and my whole family is like this, so this is just how I'm going to be. No, you don't have to be that way. Okay, let's, let's destroy that pattern, especially if it's negative. All right, especially if it's keeping you in the same circles, in the same place, you're not moving up. You just set a standstill. You either at a standstill or you always moving 10 feet back. Okay, how come I can't move up? Because you got some patterns that needs to be broken. You are not that way. All right, nobody is born a certain way. All right, things are learned. So until you deal with those thoughts, until you lay those patterns out, until you acknowledge the past, then these patterns... It's just going to continue to repeat themselves. All right. Tip number three, challenge your thoughts. One of the most powerful tools for changing your mindset is learning to challenge negative thoughts. So, for example, if you catch yourself thinking, I'll never be good enough for that promotion. Stop and ask yourself, is that true? Is that true? Would that you won't be good enough for the promotion? Why would you think that? Why don't you think you will be good enough? Okay, that's a pattern. Some Okay, somebody told you that you weren't good at something. You know, it's crazy because the things that in our childhood that we were told that we weren't good enough for, that you know what, no, you, you too small or you too short or you know you you just don't have the right look or you don't have this or you don't have that now you see how that spills over now you're going up for a promotion and you feel like you ain't good enough why because you haven't gotten rid of you know that that negative talk you know you haven't you just kept dismissing it but no we need to deal with it so challenge your thoughts ask yourself is this true then follow up with why do i believe this Okay, which goes into what I just said. I believe this because I was always told as a kid that I would never be anything. I was always told as a kid that I wasn't good enough. You know, I wasn't I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't pretty enough. So this is the reason why I'm thinking I'm not going to be good enough for this next level in my life. All right. So chances are the answer will be connected to an old story from your past, right? 
Start rewriting that story. You are capable. I don't think people really understand that you have so much power than you think, than you believe that you have. Like you have so much power, so much power that you can change your story. So much power that you can put expiration dates to all that mess from the past. And you can change your story right now. Who you were yesterday is not who you are today. Like you don't have to be that same person today. Who you were a week ago, this week, you can be a totally different person. That's just how powerful you are. Like you can change the trajectory of your story. Yeah, I might not didn't have a good childhood. I might was told this and that. Okay, things might wasn't great for me. But you know what? I'm still here which means I have an opportunity to change my past. You have the opportunity. You have the power. You can start rewriting your story today. We have two more months until this year is out. And I honestly, that is like, I feel like that should be forbidden to say right now. (laughs) Like two more months and the year is out and we'll be in 2025. What? I I can't even remember this year is really, it's done gone so fast. It's like a blur. (laughs) So, but guess what? You can start today rewriting your story. You don't have to wait until the beginning of the year. You can start right now. You are capable. You are enough, but you must begin by challenging the thoughts that say otherwise. Okay. Number four, practice affirmations and visualization. Affirmations are a great way to reprogram your mind with positive thoughts. Write down affirmations that speak directly to your mindset shifts you need to make. For instance, if you struggle with confidence, all right, like I feel like over 80% of us girls do, try repeating, I am confident and capable. I am worthy of success and love, right? I am confident and capable. I am worthy of success and love visualization is another powerful tool take a few minutes each day to close your eyes and visualize yourself living in alignment with the mindset you want to have see yourself thriving whether that's in your career in your relationships or even you know in your self-care routines the more you visualize it the more your mind will begin to believe it. You can change your mind. You can change your mind. Okay. Self-care as a mind self shift. That's number five. Self-care is more than just spa days and bubble baths. (laughs) It is, you know, I used to think for the longest time, that self-care was, girl, I'm going to get me a new body wash, hey, you know, or going to Target, all right, Target, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, all right, or Wally World, Walmart, and buying like one of those little, you know, I used to, I love buying those little facials, like, you know, and just doing, you know, my Sunday reset, doing my facials and polishing my nails. If I got some nail polish or doing my little exfoliation stuff, you know, we think that's self, that's self-care. Oh, let me just say it like this. We think that that's what self-care is all about. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. That is self-care. That's self-care to your outer body, right? But we're talking about self-care to this inner body. Okay, we're talking about this mental state, the mental health, what's on the inside. Because you can look all pretty, girl, and banging on the outside, but honey, you is toe up like some bricks on the inside, okay? So we're talking about self-care as a mindset shift. It's about taking care of your mental health, all right? This year, I have made it my business, as they say, my business, (laughs) To take care of my mental health. And if that means or meant, you know, pulling away just so I can get my mind together, pulling away so I can, you know, make sure I'm calm and at peace on the inside of me, then that's what it, then that's what it was. 
let the chips fall where they may. You know, with people thinking, you know, sometimes people think, oh, she thinks she's something. She thinks she, oh, what you think you all there? You done. Honey, no, I'm trying to protect my peace, as Trent Shelton says. Okay, we borrowing that. Protect your peace. And sometimes protecting your peace means moving away from stuff that's so toxic and so negative. You know, have you ever been around negative people like all day? That's all they got to talk about. It's always negative. Nothing ain't never positive. They ain't never got nothing good to say. And if they do say something good, it's for it's very short lived. Okay, sometimes that can weigh on you. Right? It, it it messes with you mentally. That's almost like setting up and looking at um YouTube funerals all day. Oh my gosh, honey, you go on YouTube, you look at one YouTube funeral, they're going to send you about 80 of them. I don't want to see people in a casket. <laughs> that messes with you. That messes with your mindset. Okay, I don't want to see that. So I'm protecting my peace. Okay, I'm protecting my eyes with the things that I see. I'm protecting my ears with the things that I hear. Okay, and I'm protecting my mind with the things that, you know, I allow it to soak up, you know. So it's about taking care of your mental health. So make time for practices that nourish your mind, like journaling. Okay, we have some good girlfriends that love to journal. Okay, I got me a little journal. I love it. Journaling is good. Okay, that can also be therapy as well. Journaling, meditation, turning on some music and just turning off your phone and turn that, turn that. uh, Sometimes I listen to spa music. That is so good. Like on YouTube, I call it YouTube University, honey. Anything you want to learn and know is right there on YouTube. All right. I got a degree at YouTube University. (laughs) But turn on some spa music. You know, I'll turn on. I love listening to the rain sounds. You know, one of my favorite um, YouTube channels is it's a channel called Rainy Bedroom. It is so nice. And sometimes I listen to that going to bed. It's just rain falling but it calms me it makes me at peace and one of my friends um deborah gave me some it's some little aromatherapy like lotion from bath and body works take you a good shower and you put that lotion on and you turn on the rainy bedroom honey you are in for a good night's rest (laughs) a good night's peaceful rest okay that's how we take care of our mental health that's self-care for your mind okay so make time for practices that nourish your mind we said journaling meditation and even therapy i'm gonna be honest it's nothing wrong with going to therapy and i know in my culture in the african-american culture that's kind of taboo right therapy oh no because we grew up in this household that say what happens in this house stays in this house you better not say nothing (laughs) you know or it's going to be hell to pay when you get home. Okay, let's, as they say, let's just keep it real. You know, and I'm telling you what happens in this house stays in this house. Okay, don't cause some many mental breakdowns, right? Because people have to keep all that stuff in. They can't say nothing. They can't talk to nobody. They paranoid because they don't know who to talk to. You know, come on, we got to let that stuff go. And sometimes those things like that, because some people have such a traumatic childhood, coaching just ain't going to do it. You know, it takes a counselor. It takes therapy. Okay. And it's nothing wrong with going to it. If you need it, that's why God created it. Hey, he got some therapists. I will say this. Just do your research. Okay, find a therapist that's actually going to give you therapy for what you need. Because every therapist is not created equal. So you got to do your research. All right, the same thing with counseling. So these are tools that can help you unpack your thoughts, release old baggage, and make room for new healthy beliefs. Next, we're going to talk about tips to apply these practices to your own life. Be back in a sec. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 
Welcome to your commercials, girl. Let's take a quick break from our discussion to dive into a few other important topics. You know that old wedding adage, something new, something old, something borrowed, something blue. Well, in most of our girl talks, we start with a big topic that binds us together and then we dabble in others, right? So consider this the same idea. These segments may not fit perfectly into the new or the old, but trust me, they're worth mentioning. So let's get started. First up, something borrowed. And I borrowed this reminder from um, Caleb, which is a Christian radio station. It took me back to a blog post I wrote a while back entitled, Let's Face It, Everyone's Not Going to Like You. And that's okay. But the quote from Caleb came, um, they were given, they were talking about like the best quotes that people have given them or that told them. And I love this one. And it says, you can be the sweetest peach but some people just don't like peaches. And I just happen to be one of those people. I do not like peaches. <laughs> they are not, it is not one of my favorite fruits. But, you know, that's okay, right? So the takeaway, be unapologetically you girl, because that's what really matters. Okay, next, something new. How do you manage work stress? So my boss recently bought us some bubble wrap to work for us to pop when we get like really stressed out. And honestly, it's oddly satisfying and therapeutic. You know, most of us get the bubble wrap when we order stuff. <laughs> you know, and it comes in the Amazon boxes and stuff. And I love to squeeze it because I love to hear it pop, you know, and whatnot. But it is, so while it's oddly satisfying and therapeutic just to be doing it, but have you ever thought about using it, you know, to handle stress? So what about you? What's your secret for getting through those tough days? Whether it's bubble wrap or something else, find what works for you and make time for it. And hey, and make it work. Make it work for you. It doesn't matter how odd it may sound. Just, hey, as long as it's getting you through that day, okay? Now onto something blue. And honestly, there's no easy way to talk about this, but it's important. A tragic school shooting recently happened. And when I say recent, this has been like over a month or so ago now, happened at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia, involving a 14-year-old. And it's a heartbreaking reminder that mental, um, mental health struggles are often hidden until it's too late. So check in with those around you. Remember, especially as we go into this holiday season, check in with those people around you. Check in with your good girlfriends. Check in with your co-workers. And just see how people are doing because everybody don't process um, grief the same, right? Everybody don't process pain the same. Everybody don't process rejection the same. So check in with those with those people that's close to you and don't just ask people, are they okay? I remember I was in a grocery store one time and this young lady asked me, she said, oh, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing good. She said, are you really? Are you really doing good? It's like she was probing. And at first I was like, what's she talking about? But, you know, when I really thought about it, I was like, that's like, you really got to ask people that this day and time. Like, are you really doing good? Are you really okay? Like, you know, do you want to talk? I'll make time for you. I, you know, let's talk because we don't know. That could be just the thing that somebody needs to keep them from going over the edge. So, you know, and it could make all the difference, you know, if we just push a little bit, you know, I mean, know your limits. Okay. Read the body language. Get the prayers up for um, that school. Prayers up for the, um, the families that lost loved ones. But finally, something old. Let me tell you, adding fresh lime juice to your a salad along with a little oil has been an absolute game changer for me not to mention cucumber water so it's refreshing so for my girls that don't like to drink uh, water in the winter time I'm gonna tell you I'm giving you a tip right now put some cucumbers in it <laughs> it's good okay it's refreshing it's hydrating and a little luxury you can enjoy any day trust me you won't regret trying it so there you have it, girls. Something new, something old, something borrowed, something blue. A little mix of topics, just like we do in our everyday chats. Now let's get back to our main conversation, shall we? Okay, girlfriend. 
we learned a lot today. But now we're going to talk about some tips that can, how we how can we apply this to our life? Okay, you talk about journaling. What do you mean? Okay, you talk about self-care. Okay, what do you mean? Okay, daily reflection. So start your day by asking yourself, what thoughts are running through my mind right now? If they're negative, immediately challenge them and replace them with something positive. That's your daily reflection. That's what you got to do. I can't tell you how many times a day I have negative thoughts running in my mind. (laughs) Okay. And I really have to stop and think, pause and replace those negative thoughts with a positive thought. So if they're negative, challenge them. Okay, and replace them with something positive. And this is something else that's borrowed. And I thought that it was pretty good. So I borrowed this from Chance's Mobile Home World on YouTube. Okay, I'm putting my I'm putting my degree to work. Um, (laughs) But Chance said at the end of the night before he goes to bed, because we have 24 hours in a day. And in that 24 hour period, there's a lot of things that can happen. There's a lot of things that can go on. And sometimes maybe it wasn't a good day. Maybe one negative thing happened after another another negative thing, after another negative thing, after another negative thing, until you come home and when you go to bed, it's like all negative and that's not gonna make for a good night's rest. But Chance said, He challenged those thoughts by saying, what went well today? Huh? What went well today? (laughs) What, What went well today? And that's us challenging our mind and having our mind to do, you know, you telling me all these negative things, but I'm gonna need you to rewind today and come up with what happened good today. And maybe the thing that happened good today, why everything negative was coming at you, Maybe someone out the blue came, you know, you ran off and forgot your lunch at home. That was, that was a negative thing. I do that more times than I like to admit. And then somebody come, come by or they come by your office. Hey girl, I went to such and such and they gave me the wrong order. I had to end up ordering something else. Would you like this? Would you like this? You know, this sandwich is, it's not much, but it's a lot to you because you left your lunch at home. That's something good. Okay, maybe you got an email. Somebody said, hey, I really appreciate you, you know, for for what you did today. You know, I appreciate you for taking our time or thank you. You know, it's something simple, but it happened. In the midst of all this chaos today, something good really did happen. And we have to think about that. That's a daily reflection. So everything that's negative, we're combating it with something positive okay so think about what went well today yeah we can always think about something like what went wrong but what went well that's you challenging your mind okay set intentional boundaries protect your mental space okay limit your exposure to negativity whether it's from people social media (laughs) okay or even your own thoughts set intentional boundaries protect your mental space all right journaling prompt write down the limiting um, beliefs you've noticed over the past week next to each belief write a positive affirmation that confirms it and revisit these affirmations daily okay so write down a limiting belief what what you know what did you say or what did you do where you thought you know you looked in the mirror for instance you know, I don't look good today. Then you notice that you've been saying that every day. Okay, but next to each um, belief, write a positive affirmation that counters it. Girl, you look good. You got some beautiful legs. Girl, look at your lips. They nice and plump. Girl, you got beautiful eyes. Look at those freckles. Girl, your hair is so pretty. Think of something else that combats it. Come up with your own affirmation, you know, that will counter, okay, that negativity or that negative thought. All right. And then this is the last one, the accountability partner. Share your mindset goals with a trusted friend or mentor who can keep you accountable. Sometimes having someone to remind you of your worth, right, can make all the 
difference. So listen, girl, this is the thing. All right, here it is. If you want to change your life, it all starts in your mind. Every decision you make, every relationship you enter, and every goal you pursue is a reflection of your mindset. So girlfriend, if you're not where you want to be right now, I need you to know it's not because you're not capable or worthy. That is not the case. Okay, you can go over there to Psalms, okay, chapter 139, verses 13 and 14. The Bible says, God says this about you, that he made you fearfully and wonderfully, fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are my works. You are a part of his work. You were fearfully and wonderfully made by the creator of the universe. So you are capable and you are worthy, okay? Because he created you, okay? And look at what he called you. And let me tell you something else, girlfriend. You can go over there to Ephesians 2 and 10, and God says that you are a masterpiece, okay? You know what a masterpiece is? I need you to look that definition up. And I really need you to pay attention to what it says about a masterpiece. A masterpiece is not something that everybody creates. It's something unique. It's something special, okay? It's something never seen. When God was molding you and shaping you, girl, okay, he was creating the best masterpiece, okay, that he ever created. You are like no other. You are very unique. You are worthy, okay, because the Bible says so. (laughs) It's because there's a mindset shift that needs to happen. And the beautiful thing is you have the power to make that shift. All right. Start today by deciding that you are no longer going to be a prisoner of your past thoughts. You are stepping into a new season, a season where you control your mind, where you speak life into yourself and where you set the tone for every area of your life. So as we continue this series, remember that everything we're going to discuss, your body, your relationships, none of it will work if you don't get your mind right first. You can do this. You are worthy of change. Okay. And most importantly, you are enough. So before we close out this episode, all right, I like to go into a word of prayer to wrap up everything we just talked about with a spiritual focus. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, acknowledging that you are the source of all wisdom and strength. We ask that you help us renew our minds daily replacing any thoughts of doubt, fear, or inadequacy with your truth. Guide us as we work on our mindset, reminding us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. Strengthen us to let go of the lies we've believed, the lies we were told, And help us walk boldly in the purpose you've set before us. We thank you for your grace, for being with us every step of the way, and for the transformation that begins in our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is just the beginning, girlfriends, okay? (laughs) This is just the beginning. Next up in the series, we'll be diving into how getting your body right is just as important as your mindset, all right? That will air November 30th. This is a monthly podcast, all right? But until then, take the time to work on that inner dialogue because you received a full plate today. (laughs) All right, I hope you good and full. You received a full plate today 
and that will take a minute to digest okay which is why this podcast is monthly because we need time to process all this information so if you must go back and re-listen to the episode do so remember this is a journey not a sprint all right you've got this so until our next chat guess what this tab's on me girlfriend I'll see you at our next outing. Thanks for joining today's Girlfriends Girlfriend Podcast Outing. I hope our chat brought you comfort and a new perspective. Listen, if you got a question, don't forget you can text the show or email me at inspirationswithroshonda at gmail.com and it might be featured in an upcoming episode. Remember, every girl needs a friend and I'm here for advice, a laugh, or just to listen. Stay connected by subscribing and you'll never miss a new episode. Until our next chat, this girl Girlfriends out. Peace.